Happy New Year guys! First vlog of 2019, I'm super excited. A lot of parts are waiting for us and today we're gonna continue with our Razant 390 Duke build and today's vlog gonna be all about performance parts. So let's go to the garage, let me show you what we got. Okay. Helens, your camera. Yeah. I've been a good boy through Christmas holidays and we got tons of parts so tons of work is waiting for us so let me open some packages and let me show you what we're gonna do today I'm so excited Christmas <laughs> check this man I love those brakes I use them on all my stunt bikes racing brake pads rear flame disc Ugh. a black handy it's a DJ Akrapovic and this is gonna make our bike sound much better than the stock one I'm gonna change also my brake levers with the KTM power parts because they are also adjustable and they are just CNC machined looks looks dope and here is a holder for the exhaust so we're gonna paint out the passenger footrest to save some weight and actually we we're gonna change also the back seat not maybe in this vlog maybe not let's see how much time we have and i will not ride with any passenger on that bike so we don't need the footrests so that's the plan next thing oh the helmet is waiting here we didn't forget about you so stay with us okay let's get to work and put the brakes on the bike but I think we need uh, a tires before we can put on the brakes, right? Somebody is thinking that's the reel that we hired last time. So it's time that we show you guys. Let me show you the color of the new rims. Bam. Whoa. The old school is half half. I, we did like a one third of the rim. I didn't want to have the one half so this is how we paint it. It will fit to the bike. So let's put the tires on and then we can finally mount the disc brakes. Do you have some spike tires? Uh, no, Dominic, no spikes for a razant. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tires are on now on the rim, so we're gonna mount the new disc. Oh, just check this beauty. Okay, screws, I'm gonna mount also the stock ABS, since I'm gonna also use ABS when I ride on the streets. And Loctite, and we can put the wheel on the bike. And what, what is this? That's the ABS ring, so it sends the signals to the ABS unit and it also measures your speed and maybe some other stuff but i will need that since i'm gonna use abs when i ride on the streets but you don't need to put it on your stunt bikes right no we always take down from the stunt bikes because i never use the abs uh, system there since with abs switched on you can do stoppies and i never need abs on my stunt bikes but on my street bike abs is a good thing to have so why not when you mount the disc and you took out for sure the bolts, never forget Loctite, it's super important. When you tight up the bolts, use the torque wrench, super important and do it in the cross pattern and don't do it one after another because then the disc can be not straight so you don't want that. So Nice, huh? looks dope it looks racing looks definitely racing it's uh, like fire it's actually called flame design yeah if we compare to the stock one it has two differences once clearly as i already said style and the second thing is it's floating which means it has those knobs here the knobs are actually uh, helping to hold the disc in the middle so if it's hot it's expanding and when it gets cold it's Shrinking. shrinking together and this 
knobs and the inner uh, carrier is holding the whole outer ring in the middle of the brake and on the pad so then you have always the constant brake power and then the whole style of the outer ring is uh, as I already said flame style it helps to take the heat away from the disc as fast as possible you never want to have the disc really hot to have always the enough brake power and constant brake power so those vents here are helping to take away the heat and also this is super important this design we have a graphic uh, maybe you can see there clearly so it's getting hot and then cold, colder and colder and colder I test that disc and it's definitely after many many stoppies it's still braking hard aggressive and you don't get that feeling with the stock brake for sure with the stock brake you're good on the if you don't ride hard with your bike if you go sometimes to a local racetrack with your friends or just go wild on the streets it's a good upgrade on your Duke or RC bike it will make a difference definitely that's it that's the whole performance uh, about that disc and like we saw on the box from the disc it's also TÜV proof yeah TÜV. TÜV. that means uh, you can legally use that on the streets good good point Dominic it's actually super important so you will not get in trouble it's a race disc but it has the ABA TÜV approval from Germany and you can legally ride it on your bikes uh, should we mount it on the bike let's put them on cannot wait to see how this looks on the bike. The new rims, the new disc. And then the next step is we need to change the brake pads because when you have a brand new disc you need to change also the brake pads. It doesn't cost tons of money, it's not so expensive. I'm gonna use the Sinter brake pads. They have a metal mixture so they are much more aggressive. They hold longer and they uh, work better on the high temperatures. Other thing why you need to change the new brake pads because the old one they have threads from the previous discs. It's flat here so you want to have flat brake pads. They're gonna fit much better on the new brake disc which means better braking power. So let's do that. is mounted time for the rear one Okay, new disc brakes are on and Dominic, time for the exhaust. Yeah, let's hear it, not just mount it, right? You, you want to hear the exhaust? Of okay, course. then let's put it on, man. Passenger footrest is done. And voila, it's already down. And we have now this slip on Krapovic. It's just easy. We're gonna put it back. Okay, one spring. Dominic, it's dangerous here. We are shooting like go on the safe distance. Uh, okay. Okay, Dominic, ready for the sound check? Ready. Ready, okay. Sounds nice, right, the Akrapovic? It doesn't have the DB killer. We take it out. I cannot really tell you how we took it out, but you can find some YouTube videos how to do that. It has this crispy, nice sound without the DB killer. I love it. Okay, next thing, brake levers. I want to change it to the KTM power parts. 
one so it's nicely CNC machined adjustable as you can see and also it folds up in case of a crash so we're gonna take down the stock one replace it and on the other side we're gonna replace the stock clutch lever with our Rockon easy pull clutch as the name says it's easier to pull the clutch, much easier, butter is smooth, I love that feeling from our stunt bikes. And this one is a street version where you can use not one finger but two fingers and other two stays on the handlebar and you will not break your fingers because it's shorter. And it's also CNC machine, super light, looks cool. Yeah, we're gonna put that on our clutch lever. Okay, Dominic, everything is done. What is your favorite uh, part on today's build? Well, I think the discs. The discs, right? They yeah. look super hot, flame style, definitely. Guys, that's our performance upgrade. So we added a Krapovic slip-on exhaust, better, stronger brakes, new adjustable levers, easier pull clutch. For sure, we can add also, maybe we will add a racing ECU on that bike and the sport filter. That's actually max what you can do in terms of performance on that bike. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I would say time for some parts porn, Dominic. Okay, let's do it. Okay, rock and roll. bike is coming nicely together right guys man uh, I cannot wait to finish up that build we are right now in the middle of the winter season so we cannot really ride now on the streets so but we have still something to do a lot of nice parts anyway enough of, about the bike it's also time for a long awaited helmet giveaway Guys, uh, there was a lot of comments that you give us, right, Dominic? Like, how much? Like, over 1,000 comments, right? Like, really, really a lot. A lot. So, we really like that, that a lot of you guys have uh, dreams. There is a lot of similar dreams to mine, which I really loved. I wrote some of the dreams down, but the one really sticked out. But in general, I, I read a lot of dreams about uh, traveling around the world, meeting people, uh, meeting bikers. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of materialistic things. Okay, I have a lot of stuff, but I've been really working hard for that to get. But a lot of guys were saying, I want to have that bike and that bike and that bike is not really the most important thing in the life so some of the dreams that say that they want to have also a garage to repair and customize bikes and cars one of those goals and dreams were from mr sahil nehra one somewhere we're gonna blend in his comment mr sahil you want that helmet and here is why you wrote that your biggest dream is to open a garage because there is a huge need of garage which can do some great works on bikes and cars as well in my city and in that particular garage i would be doing the job of detailing the vehicles and giving them cosmetic updates and washing them too so rest of the work has been divided in my group. We are four friends, crazy about bikes, and they have a YouTube channel. And that was a breaking point for me to decide for, for that comment. And their YouTube channel is named Jit Bashar. And I checked out this YouTube channel and they have a lot of nice how-to videos, how to repair uh, some stuff on the Duke bikes, on some other bikes. And those uh, how-to vlogs are super informative. It's They really teach you how to do uh, some basic uh, repairment work. And just because of that, I would like to support those guys. One guy from that uh, group, uh, I think is Sahil Nehra. 
I hope you're gonna like our new Rock Bagosh replica helmet and we're gonna send it, I think it's, uh, we need to send it to India. And it's super motivating to hear that our garage, our project that we started in 2016, uh, it's uh, influencing so much people around the world. We really had, you can go check it out by yourself. There is a lot of comments about people that want to build a garage on their own and also repair the bikes for other people and helping out other bikers. This is what is also motivating me and my team and Dominic and everybody is like when you see uh, people are actually motivated by our work. Thanks guys for that. Thanks for the support. And if you didn't win that helmet, uh, that doesn't mean that your dream is not good enough uh, for me or for somebody else. Important is it's, it's your dream. It's something that you want to do. It can be also, uh, maybe it sounded a bit negative when I say if you want to have a bike. If that's a dream to owning a bike, go ahead. Dreams need to be there. Without dreams we cannot grow. Dream big and never give up. That's my life motto for until now and for the rest of my life. Sahil, I think or I hope you will like my helmet and stay safe with it on the road. Okay guys, I hope you like that vlog, we are on the end of it, uh, that duke is coming nicely together. As you can see there is a lot of parts here, it's basically a lot of styling parts. So the next vlog we're gonna put a lot of bling bling on the bike, we're gonna pimp the hell out of the Razant. Uh, yeah, a lot of KTM power parts, CNC machine and we have something new from Rock Bagarash Parts from my company. We developed for the Duke, for every Duker and it makes a big difference in terms of a style. So I'm not gonna tell more, you're gonna see that in the next vlog. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, share the vlog, this is for us the most important share the love for the bikes for support us so we're gonna continue doing more vlogs that's it for this build see you in the next one until then rock, rock on, on.